today we're going to talk about something that is very, very important. And this is where a lot of people, Christians, and even other people of different belief structures start to feel like God is punishing them. And the question is, did God leave you? And You know, I like to tell a story that I heard a long time ago that might kind of sum this up for you. And this is a story about where when you actually get into becoming a Christian for the first time. And granted, this story is good for people. It doesn't matter what your religion is. Okay, let's say you woke up or you become enlightened or you start going through the awakening process, whatever that is. Okay. Um, but I'm going to tell you the story from a Christian perspective first and, and then just edit it to make it work for you. Okay. So in this story, what ends up happening when you first become awakened or you become a Christian or you find God, it's, it's like this aha feeling. You feel like you're floating on clouds. You feel like you're so close to God. You can feel him. You can hear him. You just feel so amazing. And you just feel that spirit like vibrating in you. And it's so powerful. And it's literally like you're raising up your arms high up in the air, you know, and you can feel God's present presence on you. And then life happens. And when life happens, things change. And then suddenly you realize you don't feel that way anymore. And you say to yourself, like, oh my God, did God leave me? And the reality is God never left you. You left him. God was sitting exactly in the same place that he was when you were reaching up to touch him. When you were holding his hands, when you're feeling that spirit, you were elevating your consciousness. You were raising your vibration to reach that state. But when things happen, challenges and all kinds of things happen in our lives, somebody dies, you lose your job, all these things start happening and you, you start moving down and you lower your vibration in the times when you need to be raising it the most. And so the point behind this story and this message is that you don't have to feel like God left you. God never left you. God stayed in the exact same place. He's always there. He's always there. He never leaves. It's you. It's you that's changed. It's you that left. It's you that did this. And Let's um let's put this in a little bit different terms, okay? Think about it from this angle. Your husband or wife is sitting in the living room. And in the very beginning of the relationship, you're so excited. You want to sit right next to them. You want to hold their hand. You want to curl up against them. And then, you know, as the relationship progresses, then you start realizing, hey, I've neglected a few things. Real life kicks in. Got to do laundry. Got to do this. Got to do that. And then suddenly you start to realize you don't feel that connection anymore. And you start to say, oh, my God, you know, and of course, you know, what is our first response as human beings? You always want to blame it on the other person, right? You left me. And the reality is, is that person was sitting there just waiting. And you go over to the person and you say, are you upset with me? Have you left me? And the person says to you, I've been sitting right here waiting for you. It's the same thing with God. We always get excited as human beings when something's new. When you get a new car, when you get a new house, when you get a new friend, when you get a new lover, or when you actually find that connection with God for the first time and you really feel it, all those new things, that's how we are as humans. We get excited about new things, but then it doesn't become as important. Remember when you first got that new car and it was like perfectly spotless all the time and then something happens. Now, I remember when I first got my car and it's got a hatchback, right? 
And then I had to take my dogs to the vet. So the hair kind of got all over it. And then I had to go and pick up some firewood. And so I had all this stuff everywhere. And, you know, we started calling it the dog mobile because <laughs> it was so many times we were having to take the dogs places and we'd use that car. So, you know, the other ones and you stop caring about how clean it is or how perfect it is or how this it is. And, you know, and this car is like great car. It doesn't have very many miles on it, but yet you haven't been caring for it like you used to. And all of these things happen in our life. We put a lot of priority on something new. And then we want to blame whatever, you know, oh, well, it's because the car's old or because the car is, isn't what I want anymore. Because now we want something brand spanking new. I want a brand new car now. Well, are you going to do the same thing to the new car? Well, that's how it is with God. Okay. It's like, are you looking for a new God? You know? Like what's going on? Or are you blaming yourself? Are you blaming God? What is actually happening right here? Are you blaming God and thinking God left you? Why? Because you think that you did something wrong? Are you blaming yourself because God left you? Because you're a sinner or something like that. And this is, this is where we need to like clear it up. God always loves you. God is always there. God is always there. He never leaves you. So remember the next time that you start to feel hopeless, fearful, feeling that pain. Remember, God never left you. God is always there. And all you have to do is just reach up and find him again. I hope this helps.